have announced so many seniors is kind of unknown. Yeah. I think it said we're one of, what, three teams or something like that to start off seniors. Yeah. But, and, exactly. I think just having all of us makes everything easier on everybody else. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to practice, he puts everything on our back, right? If we're not doing what we need to do, seniors, this is how you're going to – he just seems like – Coach, he does it a lot. He's like, seniors, yeah. so this is how you're going to lead? Really? Like, so it's all right. So I think we all understand, like, every practice, yeah. every day, we have to bring it, bring energy, um, and also bring wisdom to other players. But, yeah, the thing is about our seniors is kind of like a lot of us, a lot of the guys are really intelligent. Yeah. And so it's kind of – there's going to be so many opportunities for a lot of us when we're done that it's it's going to be hard choosing between what it is that we're going to want to do because I yeah. think a lot of us will have a lot of options. What's your second option? Uh, I don't know. Maybe get with Kevin and start our own business. <laughs> oh, my. But doing what? Social media marketing and business solutions. How about that? Mark it down. Depends what game we're talking about. If we're talking about guitar here, oh, it's me. <laughs> uh, champ. Huh? Me. Oh, yeah? Bud would say it's him, but it's not. <laughs> Kev would probably say it's him, but it's not. Well, the thing about it, if you look at it, all of us play certain games. Mm. Some of us may play all, we all play, might play one game, but mm. certain people play it more than the other. Like, I'm easily the best Call of Duty player. Any first person shooter, I'm the best at that. Um, and I would say I'm the best at FIFA too, but then Bud and Kev would interject and say that I'm not. Champ. Oh, me. No doubt me. Uh, um, you know, Bud and Anthony, they, uh, they're, they're, they think that they're the best in terms of, uh, you know, they work hard, but they can't, <laughs> they can't mess with me in any, any of the games, honestly. The senior video. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, FIFA was a game where Kevin Bud have literally played. They have like a tally on the wall in a room of <laughs> FIFA, and they've been playing it. They've been keeping a different tally for all four years. And really? I think we counted it up, and they played like 600 games, maybe maybe even more of wow. just FIFA. It is ridiculous, and I'm pretty sure Bud's winning. Uh, he does little. He's a little pregame dance. Yeah, he does this thing where we call it Kevin Jacks. It's a little skip routine that he does, and he comes in the middle of the court and does, you know, a different dance routine every once in a while, and then he'll do his. Uh, I can't pronounce it right, but it's a kind of like a Spanish type Marciano Caporque. I know that sounds. I can't. I know you can't I'll have spell to Google it. that one. Yeah, but he does this thing where he kind of acts like he's doing like a like a, a dance where he throws his hands up in the air and shakes his hips, and then he runs toward the toward the baseline become kind of a ritual for us. And he does that for himself, not to entertain. Or does oh, he does it completely to entertain, oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have you go to opposing gyms with already people in there and people watching him. And, you know, so most people wouldn't want to do it because they wouldn't want to be embarrassed. But yeah. he does it because, you know, it helps lighten up the mood a little bit. Obviously, you want to be intent with the game, what we're doing, but it provides a little bit of yeah. comical relief. That one, he just gets in the middle, starts doing some crazy dances, and then just runs, has a funny run back to the sideline. He's been doing that thing since we might have been freshmen. Yeah. I know for sure sophomore year, but I think it was freshman year started. Yeah, he's always, I mean, I don't know how early you get here, but before every pregame, he does this little dance at half court. And it's just him. Uh, how early? An hour before. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. 60 minutes. So we're all getting loose, stretching. And in the middle of it, he goes out to half court and does this little 20 second dance. I mean, we're all just busting up laughing. And, <laughs> is there music to it? Is it music in his head? Uh, probably in his head. I mean, I mean, we have the warm-up music playing. Right. I mean, it's not, it's not too any type of music. Just right. whatever he's right. feeling. Yeah, that, uh, that kind of just. Our old weight coach, who used to be here, Paul Bohr, um, we did, did those things called like split jacks, and then I one time before a game just kind of did them, kind of goofing around. I don't know, and then we started calling them Kev Jacks. Just oh Kevin yeah. Jacks, yeah. And so then now before every game, we'll start doing them, and then we'll say Kev Jacks, and I'll just do it. It kind of, there's not really any, like, awesome story right. behind it. It right. just kind of started happening. And then but it's still something a little change. different in a pregame. Oh, thing. yeah, no doubt. Fo it's, followed, it's different. Followed by what, a sprint to the baseline? Yeah, I, uh, so I just go up there and just pretty much freelance a dance. It starts with, like, this 
this weird warm up thing that we had to do, and then I just kind of whatever dance I'm doing, and then uh, yeah, just immediately sprint to the baseline, and I guess whatever. Um, Good. And whatever happens each time, usually, if, depending if it's funny, yeah. I'll laugh if, just because it's yeah. funny. It's always something. It's yeah. never not funny. But I will say that um, we've kind of we've kind of got this thing because of our – we have really good communication habits, and prob- some of that's probably because of Coach Hoffman. So we do, like, a, this echo thing where when yeah. Coach calls something, we echo it. Right. Well, we get out in public when that's definitely not called for, <laughs> and, you know, in a restaurant or something all together, and, of course, someone – Someone says something, and all of a sudden, someone will echo it. And yeah. before you know it, the whole place, our whole team is just yelling or shouting something. Or, you know, like if we're in line, say we're in line at, at in the cafeteria or something, and yeah. someone's taking a long time to go through, I'll, you know, Kevin will be like, waiting on you, Darius. And all, you know, the whole team is all of a sudden <laughs> chanting in a silent cafeteria, waiting on you. You know, it's, there. It's you can't even pick so, up one. There's so uh, many. Yeah. Kevin, I mean, yeah. he's just... I don't even know where to start. He's hilarious. I mean, he tells me, like, I mean, we, we've obviously had talks about what we're going to do after this, you yeah. know, whether we want to try and keep playing. And, I mean, every time we talk about it, or he says, he's like, I mean, he has, he wants to, he's talk, playing football here next year, playing, trying to play baseball, trying to become a musician. Like, it's just everything you can think of he wants to do it's just so very what else well he's a music he's a competitor i mean yeah. in and out i mean off the floor he's a jokester you know through and through but on the court he's all about business and you can you can see that if you've been a part of this team and been on yeah you know been in the, in the, in the rotation with him. um Done. yeah i think uh I th- i'd say I'm, I'm pretty um once the game starts i think it's yeah. definitely more business uh but i think it's important to keep a you know, a loose mindset when you're on the floor, especially offensively. Mm-hmm. And so I try to make sure, you know, if Hoffman's getting on somebody or, um, you know, someone's not playing as well, to just make sure that they yeah. still, you know, uh, are in a good state of mind. Kind of unclench them a little bit. Mm-hmm, exactly. Make sure that they still have a smile on, the face, on their face because in the end it's supposed to be. I mean, the first year was definitely tough being so far away from home yeah. but you know my teammates I, I, I played on a really close high school team you know we traveled together in the summer it was our AU team it was my high school team hmm. and I wasn't I didn't think I could be on a closer team than that you know but yeah. here it's it's definitely up there and you know we're best friends you know we yeah. hang out all the time together and it's been a blast so I would say I mean after my freshman year I kind of realized that this is yeah place for me and I was yeah. happy with my choice. I can share in 50 years. I'd say either on the bus or, yeah, I'd probably say one of them, I have two. One of them's on the bus. Like, if you look around after we win a big game, or even if we're just riding to the airport, right. everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. Um, then we have a game, kind of like charades that we play mm. on the way back from games or to, or to like, our destination. Yeah. Um, I think just how well we get along yeah. on the bus. It's just it's always fun. Nobody's ever down or yeah. yelling at each other. I know some other teams might have that problem, but we don't. And then while we're here, um, we all a lot of us like to play games, video games. So another thing I look at is all of us sitting around the TV talking crazy to the two people playing. Somebody yeah. pick one side, somebody else pick yeah. the other side, and just go at it the whole time. Just heckling. Yeah, the whole time. Um, I think that's really one of our best moments, sitting around and being who we are.